Your ship is... <laughs> we have nothing like it. Where do you see the inside? <laughs> it gets better. Oh, yeah. You ready to go? I'll introduce you to the rest of my crew. I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Did the translators not work? They work. Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to... Just listen up. Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the Vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal? Seriously? Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Rider. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jaws told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vol. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Havarl? is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Let me weigh the options. I'll let you know. We'll be ready, whatever you decide. Jal, give Kalo the nav points for both planets. Let's... do this. So, Jal. So? We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are, you are, aliens. And you're alien to us. So there, we have something in common. Uh, we can look at it as a place to start. Got it. Perhaps then, if 
We're all aliens. It's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Care to elaborate? I do not. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant too? <laughs> A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to get my hands on something and take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> You're right. I signed up. Uh, volunteered for this. It's uh, exciting. There's something unique about you. Uneasy, raw, but somehow profound. Face value, that sounds like a compliment. A nice one. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. As if I didn't have enough on my plate, add deciphering alien psychology. What plate? Exactly. See you later. Yes? What's your story, Jal? Tell me about yourself. Why? Well... Why wouldn't you? You hiding something? Maybe. That would only make sense. I was born on Earth, third planet of the Sol system in the Milky Way. Hmm. That's interesting. Thank you. That's enough. Until we've established a better trust with each other. <laughs>